We are inside DHA's Box of Rock with my old friend Ed Kowalczyk from Live. Hey, I'm so happy to see you. You too. Thank you. Um, All right. So where do we start? First of all, I have to start with 25 years. I can't freaking believe it. It's nuts. I was at this radio station and I remember when Throwing Copper came and I was just like, who are these guys? And what? Here's here's what I thought. What does this record mean? mean here's the beauty of the record yeah. here's the beauty of the record it means something different to everyone it is so true yeah i mean especially songs like you know lightning crashes it's unbelievable the amount of interpretations that i've heard over the years and you know they're all great it's like i kind of designed the lyrics i've always been into lyrics that leave it open like that you know not you know, like i have my feeling about what it might mean or where it's going but i don't i don't really care about that I, i'm like i care what that people can make it their own these are not con this is not a concept record of any kind no it's sort of it takes you on that journey but you develop the journey so i've heard stories too just from playing the record for so many years from this is why i need to hear you know this song today this is why i need to hear white discussion this is why i need to hear these songs because this means this 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 and it's like well it means that to you that is the beauty i I don't think i can say that about many other bands i think uh you know if i look at you know if analyze like why you know band uh, a band like ours is still you know doing great and 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 people and fans are still so interested and engaged is be that 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 uh, approach to the lyrics has served the record really really well and so like i've had people come up to me since the reunion and say wow this you know i really love this record you know in the 90s but there's something about it's even deeper now because you know i have yeah, I have more experience, I have kids or whatever, and so that feels really good to hear that. I think the meaning definitely can keep changing. Did you have any idea, and you're, I can imagine, I know what the answer is going to be, how impactful this record would be? You know, looking back on it now, I mean, you see it probably in a different light, yeah. but such an impactful, important record in musical history, really. Thank you. Yeah, I, it, you know, I think that... Um, you know when I we got the the final mixes and I was able to listen to it as a piece of art you know from you know song one to song what 14 I felt like it was really special that we had done something really really great um I had no idea that it would transform our lives and go you know make us you know a world known band you know yeah but um I mean you're dreaming of those things of course number you're one rock them. record for you guys yeah I mean you're dreaming of those things but you're not you know, you have to be wild and wild and crazy enough to, you know, dream about it and expect it and do all that stuff. But at the same time, it's always you're, you're never prepared for it, you know. Yeah. And then, you know, when the band split apart, there was so much pressure. You guys, no one left you guys alone. And I really felt like I felt for you guys because uh-huh. it was like, you know, the fans were just so, you know, I'm on this team and I'm in that camp. And everybody just and, and they did it from their hearts because oh, sure. they wanted you guys to really put everything back together because yeah. it meant so much um to them really and yes. um pre- so much pressure I, I always felt that it was so much pressure it, for you guys and i felt bad because you guys were doing different things and you know sort of paving your way and yeah. um and it was just like it was almost like oh god i'd read something and i'd be like leave these guys alone just let them I be know, yeah. you know yeah it was a tough time and um but you know i think we all agree that you know, wouldn't feel as good as it does now yeah you know had we not gone through that well, i was going to ask you that and, too and, you know taking that break that we really needed it and um and you know but yeah the fans kind of constantly reminding us you know social media and that you're like hey yeah. how much you know us together meant to them it was um, so important it was so yeah. important to them and so you know that was in the background and then we were working through our stuff and then you know but now it's like you know it's been three years since the reunion and and it just feels like brand new all over again yeah I mean, it really like, does really i think it does energy. too yeah definitely um so talk to me a little bit about the 25th anniversary edition which comes out on july 19th yeah it's amazing we um you know of course went back and remastered and got uh you know the actual you know throwing copper album is of course going to be the main thing and then um there are three unreleased tracks that are included a song called hold me up which you guys are playing yes so, thank so you very much good and um well that you know i love that song and it was literally recorded right in the same batch as i alone and all over you and all these songs and um but it just didn't make it because we couldn't fit it on there and that was, was so just, weird because the first time i heard it i'm like this didn't make the record it's such a killer tune you know i have to hats off to my our, our um 
mentor who he's passed away now he passed away in 2008 but he signed us to radioactive records named gary kerfurst yeah i remember talking to him about that and he goes gosh man we're in such good shape when you can leave a song like this off <laughs> right right and, uh, and uh, right. he loved it and we you know for, so it's kind of fun because it's like you're opening up a time capsule from 1993 and here's this great music in there that really hasn't been released it was on a movie soundtrack a while back but it was never like something anybody could buy on an album or listen to on their vinyl or whatever and then there's um also our 1994 performance at woodstock has been remixed and mastered mm -hmm. by chad taylor our guitar player so that's sort of the second piece of vinyl that's in the vinyl set or the cd second cd or whatever um so that was a trip to go back and have actually well discover that we actually had the multi-tracks from that concert which um did you take like a nice deep sigh and go ah oh, that's awesome it was this just is gonna crazy when he called me he was like yeah i have the multi-tracks to that and i was like you're kidding so he transferred them and he mixed it and um cause, so i mean it's really like a, a great document of that wild and crazy 1994 for us you know with the album of course and the unreleased stuff and now and the woodstock performance um it's pretty special for the fans yeah this is definitely going to be a special show for sure and you guys out on the road with two other bands that are celebrating yeah. 25 years too bush and our lady peace that's amazing just amazing yeah this is um we're we're super excited we this is like this little piece of the tour that it was like seven concerts and then we go to Europe and then um, this this whole package joins back up again at the end of July and we're all the way through uh, I think end of October wow, wow. so awesome well thank you so much thank for hanging you. it's so good to see Pleasure you to be here thank awesome you. to see you <laughs> 